everybody. How y'all doing, friends? Okay, angle. Uh, so good morning. I'm okay. Good morning. I'm tired. Um, now I'm going to my theater class, and it starts at 9:30. But apparently, like when you're like in the theater world, you have to be there like early because you know like you start at that time but i'm somebody who's always late um oh lord i'm sorry y'all but yeah i'm somebody who's always late and this class is like that's a little too early for me to be early but it's cool i'm gonna get there it's gonna be all good uh, i got my thing of coffee I got my pimple and we're good to rock and roll. And then after this class, um, I'm supposed to have a class at 11, but I'm not going to, that's, I have to do stuff online for that class. And then after that, I have my TV production class or my news production, whatever it's called. And uh, that's in person, and I'm super excited about that because uh, I like the professor. Um, so hopefully, it's a good class day. So I don't know. I gotta go. I'm already running late. So I'll see y'all in the next clip. <sighs> okay. There's a lot. So it is 11:26 in the morning. I just well. My class ended at 10.45. It ended a little bit early. Um, but then... And then I kept debating on if I wanted to talk to the theater department person. If I wanted to talk to him about what I should do for this thing. Like, if I should even try or... I don't know. I just kept going back and forth about like what I should do if I should even talk to him or anything like that um are you about to fall over um so I kept debating why are you vibrating like that okay okay let's see if that position works okay um so I was trying to figure out if I wanted to talk to him or not and I kept going back and forth and then before I got to my car, I was like, okay, I'm just going to go talk to him. And then, uh, so then I saw him go back into the building, but he was like talking to another student. So I was like, it's like, I don't know. But then I ended up finding him in the classroom that we were in, like for class. And I was like, and I asked him, you know, like where his like office was or whatever. And so he showed me where his office was and he showed me like how to get there from different parts of the building um and then so then I went in there and he was like okay so you know like what can I do for you or whatever and so I was just like okay so I've never like done this before um I know there are auditions tomorrow so I don't know if I should just you know go to like get like some experience or something or if I should just you know whatever and so he just kind of gave me some advice and I was just kind of seeing like what he would like tell me to do there's a guy walking this way looking at me while I'm talking to the camera but it's okay and so I he just was just kind of like you know, like, this is part of, like, the acting process. Like, if you want to make acting a part of your life, you, you know, you have to, like, audition and stuff like that. And you, But he was like, if you're comfortable with it, then, you know, there's auditions tomorrow. You can come at any time. And he was just kind of, like, you know, telling me about that. And then I asked about, you know, working in the back, like, stagehand or, like, crew or whatever. And he was like... He was like, yeah, so you would just have to come and talk to the director or whatever about it and just kind of, you know, it's just about if there's a thing open, then, you know, you can be 
be it, if they want you to be it or whatever. So I was like, okay. And then he showed me the, um, like the actual stage itself. So he turned on, he turned on the lights and I got to like be on stage because we were backstage, I guess. Like I think his office is backstage. And, um, and I saw, and then I saw like the, the orchestra pit or whatever. And then I saw like where the audience would be sitting. And then he kind of told me like, okay, like, you know, when you come in, I'm going to say next or whatever. And then you're going to come in and you're going to hand me your audition packet. And, uh, I'm just going to, you know, and then you introduce yourself and then you take a deep breath and then you start your story or whatever and then you take a deep breath and then you say thank you and then they say whatever and then you leave um and so I kind of asked him like what to wear to auditions and he said oh you want to wear something you know comfortable that you can move in but also shows like you know like you want to be respected and that you respect their time and you know stuff like that so kind of like professional professional casual kind of thing you know so I did that so yeah so then that happened oh there's is that my old professor I think so anyway um so yeah I yeah I was there and I walked back and forth and debated on the on getting an audition packet and thinking about auditioning or not I didn't sign my name or anything like that but I did get the I did get the audition packet uh, I'm gonna read through it and then see if I can come up with a story and then um, and then I guess maybe go there maybe not I don't know but he was telling me so like today in class uh, we talked a little bit about like you know what we learned or what stood out to us in the last class so we talked about that and then we went outside and then there was a bug all over me and I started panicking but then we went outside and we did a couple um, actor warm-ups and things like that um, and then we did this one thing where like there's a group of three people and then the two people have to try to get the attention of the person in the middle and then so I did that and then you also and then we also did this thing um where it's like um uh, where it's like uh who did this sir and then you said uh, was it you number whatever and then it's no sir not I sir and then you say the number and you go down the line or whatever and um so it's about like you know like being in the moment and things like that and so I kind of it was kind of hard at first but then once I kind of like got into it like it I just kind of started doing it but it was still hard you know it definitely obviously deserves some work and things like that but with that he was telling me um that with everything that he saw uh that I could definitely like do this if I wanted to and he was kind of like, I guess like encouraging me to do it, but he just kept saying like, okay, but like if you're comfortable or whatever. So I don't know if, I don't know if, you know, good like directors or like good like theater heads or whatever, uh, tell everybody that, or if that's what they're kind of supposed to do, or if, you know, he's just kind of been in this for a while to where like he did see something in me I'm not I don't know uh, but because of that I did grab the packet and I'm kind of thinking about it and trying to figure out like what to do or whatever so yeah I don't know and then uh so yeah and then uh, some things that I kind of learn I guess like in this acting class today was like just kind of being in the moment being quick and I've just kind of been thinking about like other conversations that I've had with people like in the past you know like even just yes conversations I had yesterday conversations I had like in high school and just kind of being like oh wait a second like I've kind of done that like whenever I'm in group settings like I kind of try to get the attention of people and um you know whenever someone says something I usually come back quickly with something else and um like you know I usually do that but it was like different because I had to do that. And then there was also people 
doing the same thing so which I mean was the point but so it was just kind of like difficult not difficult but it was like different it was really different so I've just been really thinking about like a lot of the different conversations and like what I could have said or what I could have done um, just seeing places where I have tried to go out of my way to get people's attention or something I don't know I don't know I just kind of been thinking about that um, I do feel like I cannot take my medication for ADHD like on days that I have this class and things like that because I really do feel like it's going to like suppress I really do feel like it's going to suppress a lot of what is good like you know because ADHD medication is supposed to like calm you down and like relax you and stuff and like make you focus um but ADHD is good because then you can be quick and you don't really think about what you're gonna do you just kind of do it and whatever so I know that I cannot take my medication for that um so I could probably take it after the class depending on when I need to um I know I wouldn't be able to take it if if I do get cast or something I wouldn't be able to take it for that so then that could probably cause problems but we'll have to see about that I mean if the time gets there but that's just kind of what I'm thinking um but yeah it was really cool like I wish I wish I would have known about this sooner but then again, I'm kind of glad that I am getting a degree in journalism, like mass communications, just so I can have, that was just kind of always the plan, you know, to have that as like my plan B, I guess, like my degree in mass communications. And then acting or modeling or whatever just was going to be my plan A, like I would pursue that once I graduate college, but I would have something to fall back on in case like it doesn't work. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't know, man, this is all so confusing and scary. It's like this whole new world that like now, like I'm kind of like having to like, like I already said, like in the last vlog, like I'm kind of having to like start over discovering something new, you know, um, but <coughs> excuse me. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just going to be pondering that for the rest of the day. Um, I have a class at 2 that I have to go to, so I'm probably going to eat something now. And then just chill out and kill some time until 2. I need to take a shower because I'm itchy with all these bugs and being outside. And so yeah, I need to take a shower. I need to change because I'm sweaty and I feel gross. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And, um, I'll see you guys in the next, in the next clip. Okay, bye. So, I totally just realized that I kind of wore the same outfit from yesterday, today in the vlogs. So that's really embarrassing. But I changed into this cute dress with my shoes. And then I have a little fanny pack on to give kind of like a street vibe so it's not too girly I mean it's like girly but like you know you know but um so yeah now I'm headed to ooh, now I'm headed to my production class heading to that it's about a little past 1 30 probably now so here we go okay hey guys so I just got out of my mass comm some numbers class and I'm pretty sure that's gonna be my production class so we're gonna be basically just doing like stories and filming stories leading up to making packages to then leading up to doing actual like new shows like broadcast shows like you know yeah you know so I just got out of that um, and I talked to my professor I talked to my professor after class because he told us, okay, so our assignment that's due, oh my god, is that assignment due today? Oh my god, hold on, let me figure this out. 
All right, hold up. This assignment is due. Wait, I don't know when this assignment is due. Is it due today or not? Oh my God, I think that assignment is due tonight at 11.59 p.m. And I am, okay, <laughs> it's okay, I'm doing fine. So I think I'm gonna have to take my medication mm -hmm. today so I can do the rest of my other assignments that are due tomorrow. So I'll probably do that. Um, and then, so we kind of talked about how, um, how I feel overwhelmed and confused and lost and like how I just really don't want to do news. Like I don't want to write news stories. And I was telling my professor how like, I just feel like I don't know how to, even though I've had experience and stuff, like I just kind of left the class feeling more confused than anything else. So uh, I was talking to him a lot about like the class structure and things like that and then that took a while and I was supposed to meet up with Lucas to get um, slushes from Sonic and just kind of hang out because yesterday like I said he kind of slept the entire day so we haven't really been able to see each other so I was hoping that we could do that today but um, now he has to get ready for work and um, I'm supposed to meet up with Savannah to go to um, this building to try to figure out her stuff so she can finally come to this school because girl you come in here and we're gonna we're gonna tear it up so anyway I'm talking to her right now that's your segue wait wait hold on they can't see you All right, so you're on the vlog. Um, check your rear view, please. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, have you been behind me this entire time? Yeah. That's so funny. I kept looking at you and I was like, why is that car right there? Oh my gosh. She's like, hold on, let me put my mask on. I'm crying, bro. Oh, that's so funny. And you just didn't come up either. <laughs> I wanted to see how long it would take. I can't see you, so it was taking a while. Okay, I just hung up on her. We can go say hi to her. Oh wait, I did not hang up on her. She's still on the phone. Okay. I lost my cord. Oh, <laughs> it's cool. So, what's up? You said you wanted to be on the vlog. Um, Do you have anything to say? You might uh, have to talk a little louder. Uh, Madison Beer, if you're watching this, <laughs> please notice me. <laughs> you need. I feel like I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't show you the time of your life. <laughs> Like anyway, that. your shirt is fresh. Walmart, you know. Oh, I love that. Look at that. Ooh, work. I kind of look like... Huh? I kind of look like I'm in a gang. <laughs> Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. So, this is my first time filming. Oh my god, you're my first... My first guest person in my vlogs. So, yeah, um, now I'm just waiting for Lucas to get out of his shower, and we're gonna go from there. I don't know what's coming up. I might have to take my medication and do my school assignments. Anyways, people are staring at me, so I'm gonna go. Okay, see y'all in the next clip. All right, hey guys, welcome back. Okay, this is Savannah. You saw her in the last clip. Uh, we're gonna make a TikTok right now. Um, and I just want you guys to see what that process looks like. Okay, so I'm thinking that we could... Okay, so play the video, and then we'll... Okay. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, like, if it wants to time out, it can't. Um, Fuck. So then, for the Cardi song... Oh, am I gonna have to blur that? Like, well, I don't think it says any bad words. But, uh, we can play the Cardi song, and yes, then... And then... Oh, it does. We'll cut for that part. Are you gonna bleep it? Oh god, I don't know what I'm gonna 
Okay, that's a lot of editing. Is it? I'll just fast forward this then. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> doing a little speed thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, so we can do that, and then we jam out like. How Follow would, her on TikTok if you want to hear and see the clip. Just saying. <laughs> how we can like jam out like to the oh song how god. we normally would, and then um, and then whenever the song changes, we can start the sound over, and then make a new video, and then do that to just that part of the audio, okay. and then I'll just go in and then cut it. Okay, what's my hair? Okay, you ready? I guess. Okay. <sighs> This is, this is exhausting. I'm tired. <laughs> but like, this how really how it is. <laughs> think are pro is probably going on in this car. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. Okay, I'm tired. All right, we're gonna edit that and we're gonna tell you how it went. I don't cook, I don't clean, but let me tell you how I got this wing. Wop, 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 macaroni in a pot. That's a wop, wop, wop. What? What? I'm not special. Who the hell am I to think I'm special? I'm not special. Um, no, I'm not. And yeah, yes, yes. The DJ gay. Some of the yeah, 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 the doors. Some of the yeah, 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 Jockey, ay, ta 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 ta, gasolina, gasolina, se me la va a llevar a ver a los motores, gasolina, ta ti, jockey. I'm engaged. I see you winding and grinding up on the floor. I know you see me looking at you and you already. Love you, love you, you already. Hey everybody, um, I am back home. Uh, Savannah had to go to work at nine, so we left. Um, a little like a little too late <laughs> for comfort. Um, we filmed a couple TikToks. Obviously, you saw the last clip of us trying to do that. Um, and then, so the first TikTok that we did has currently 33 likes. So that came in like two hours. I'm like, oh, 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 I'm famous. Just kidding. It's just 33 likes, but it made me happy. And then the last one that I posted, which was one of the one that y'all saw, um, no, I didn't post that one yet, but I posted a second one and that one only has four likes. I need to finish. <gasps> I need to finish editing that other one. <gasps> I need to do that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do that and then post that and then see what happens. Probably not anything. I feel like that one's probably not going to get that many likes because it's an original sound. It's not like a popular sound. I mean, it's a bunch of popular songs, but not like, you know, to where you could like search them. You know what I mean? So hopefully the algorithm does me good for that one. But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and post that one. And then I'm going to take a shower and I'm going to edit this yesterday's vlog. 
Wait, I already posted a vlog today. So I don't need to edit that. I already posted it today. I think so. So I think I already posted Wednesday's vlog, which should be day three. Yeah, I already posted that one. Um, oh, wait, I just cleared everything and I had my video up in the editing software. Ah! Hey. Okay, I'm gonna see if that's still up, but. Uh, yeah, so that, the, I posted a lot of things went wrong today, third day of college, 2020, three hours ago, and that currently has eight views, but my friend commented on it, and it made me so happy. So, girl, if you're watching this, you're probably not, but it's okay, but, like, thank you for commenting, like, that made me really, really happy, and I miss you so much. Um... But yeah, so that made me really happy. Um, so today was a good day. Um, and yeah, we will, I'll talk more about the audition after my shower. So probably like in the next clip or so. So see you in the next clip. Hey guys, so it's super dark in here because it's like... I think one o'clock in the morning and I'm gonna go to sleep um and I forgot to close up the vlog um but yeah after Savannah so me and Savannah hung out uh, yeah and then so after Savannah left I just kind of watched um TikToks for a really long time like I got the little tiktok where he was like hold up you've been scrolling on tiktok for way too long go do this go do that blah 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 so i got that and then i somehow managed to get back on tiktok after that because usually i get off the tiktok whenever that happens because i usually do have to go pee or i usually am hungry or something wait is that my hair oh sorry i thought that was something on my wall <laughs> um so yeah, so I usually do get off of TikTok, but I just didn't. So yeah, um, I don't know what am I gonna do today. I already uploaded my vlog, so I don't have to edit. So I'll edit this vlog tomorrow and then upload it tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is the auditions. Um, I'm not sure if I want to audition anymore. I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. Um, and then, so tomorrow I'm probably going to take half of my medication. So in the morning and afternoon, I can do my assignments that I need to do. And then after that, I can just comp contemplate if I want to go to the auditions or not. So, someone just texting. Uh, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I don't know if I want to do the auditions or not, just because my I don't really have a story formulated I mean kind of like I know what I would tell the story like I know what story I would tell I think but it just I don't know how to tell it and I haven't really told anybody that I'm going to be auditioning for anything so, I'm just kind of, I don't know, just because I don't want to, like, tell someone and then them, like, try to push me to do something that I'm not comfortable with or them, which, I mean, that would be the only thing that they would do, but I don't know. For some reason, I just don't want outside opinion right now. Um, I'm not going to hear just, like, so... That's why I'm so strong. I'm just asked somebody or like practice with somebody 
but I don't know. Uh, and I guess I'm just scared. Kind of, I don't know what to expect, and I'm kind of underprepared, but at the same time, still prepared. So, I'm not sure. I don't know. I guess I just might just. I don't know. I'm just rambling, guys. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, I know I'm gonna go because I don't let my fear or anxieties or anything stop me from doing anything. Like, so if I'm scared of doing something, then typically I go ahead and do it just because if I'm scared of something, then that probably means it means a lot to me. And I don't want to live in like that type of fear, you know? I mean, my anxieties and stuff have, well, they've never, whoa, I slipped out of my hand. They've never prevented me from doing anything, but I've definitely stopped doing things or left early or, you know, didn't finish something because of my anxiety or fear or whatever. But, um, but yeah, so I, so I know I'm going to go, I just don't know how it's going to go. And I guess that's the fear. I don't know if I'm going to have a good story or if I'm going to perform well, I have no idea, but I think I'm just going to go there and just do it in the way that I would tell my friend a story, you know, like how I would tell my mom. So, I guess I'll, someone's awake. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm just going to go in and say it as if I'm saying it to my mom. I think that that's how I would approach that. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Also, I don't even know what assignments I need to do. Uh, okay, guys. Um, I love you guys. Be sure to do something that will make you happy. I've got hair on my lip. Uh, be sure to do something that will make you happy. Whether that's in the nighttime or in the morning or in the afternoon. Whatever time of the day or whenever. Just make sure you're doing something today that will make you happy. Um, I don't know, I don't know what else to say, keep okay, bye.